Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Today I'm going to cover how to factorize cubic polynomials over C. So what that means is you are allowed to have complex numbers in your factors. So here is the polynomial. Uh, so uh, just before we start, I just want to make sure that you can factorize a normal uh, cubic without using complex numbers so if you're not sure how to do that please have a look at my previous tutorial on how that's done okay so the first step that we're going to do is we're going to use the factor theorem which states that if a polynomial of a uh, is equal to zero then x minus a is a factor of p of x so if you don't understand this theorem please have a look at the tutorial on how to factorize cubics okay so uh, now that we have used this uh, theorem uh, what we want to do is we want to find a value of z that will make this expression equal to zero. So we're going to try and find uh, p of z uh, where uh, the answer is going to be equal to zero. So p of z is equal to z cubed plus 7z squared plus 9z minus 17 is equal to 0 and we want to find what z is and there is no easy way to find this other than just guess and check so z cubed plus 7z squared plus 9z equals 17 and now you just have to uh, think of a number for z so let z equal uh, let's try uh, 1 okay then it's going to be 1 cubed plus 7 plus 9 which is 17 so then um, uh, because uh, when z equals 1 okay p of z is equal to 0 so when z equals 1 okay p of z is equal to 0 therefore uh, z minus 1 is a factor of uh, p of z okay if you have no idea what's going on please have a look at my last tutorial okay so now um, let us try and um, do this so p of z is equal to uh, z minus 1 because we know z minus 1 is a factor multiply by a quadratic right because we end up with a cubic which comes from uh, z minus 1 multiplied by a quadratic so I have z squared plus bz plus c I don't know what b or c is that's what we got to find next okay so p of z is equal to uh, this which is equal to z cubed plus 7z squared plus 9z minus 17 which is our original polynomial All right so now we're going to try and make the left hand side equal to the right hand side so we can see what b and c are so if I expand this out I will get z cubed plus bz squared plus cz minus z squared plus uh, sorry minus bz minus c 
that's the left hand side and on the right hand side I have z cubed plus 7z squared minus 9z minus 17 and if I simplify the left hand side I will get z cubed plus uh, bz squared minus z squared plus cz minus bz minus c okay actually I haven't done anything I just reordered them so now I can see um, if I want to find what B is okay I can simply use um, this section here where I have BZ squared minus Z squared is 7Z squared so uh, BZ squared minus z squared is equal to 7z squared so if I plus z squared on both sides bz squared equals uh, 8z squared and therefore b is equal to 8 alright b is equal to 8 and then I have c is equal to uh, minus 7 uh, c is equal to 17 because I have negative c here and negative 17 here so negative c is equal to negative 17 right because c is the constant so c is equal to 17 alright so if I can substitute the numbers for b and c back into um, back into this equation then I will get um, P of Z is equal to Z minus 1 multiplied by Z squared plus BZ so B is 8 so 8Z plus 17 All right and now I just have to factorize this little bit which is the quadratic so how do we factorize that? Well, if you guys remember in the last tutorial, uh, a couple of tutorials ago in lesson 21 or something like that, to factorize a quadratic over C, uh, that was what we did uh, a couple of tutorials ago what you had to do is you had to complete the square so that becomes uh, four times four is 16 minus 16 plus 17 so that becomes z plus 4 squared uh, plus 1 okay because this whole section here becomes z plus 4 squared uh, z plus 4 times z plus 4 which gives you z plus 4 squared and 17 minus 16 is equal to 1 okay so if I can substitute that back into my equation I will get z plus 4 squared plus 1 here right uh, but still that's not factorized so what we do is we make the one the same as a square number plus uh, one squared uh, sorry minus one I squared right because um, we want to use the difference of the two squares method so basically you have to acknowledge that one is the same as negative one i squared right because i squared is equal to negative one negative one times negative one is positive one so once we've written it like that we can rewrite it as uh, 1i to the power of 2 right because 
uh, 1i bracket squared is the same as 1i squared, right? Because 1 squared is just 1. So therefore, if I use the difference of two squares formula, a squared minus b squared is a plus b, a minus b. This then becomes z plus 4 plus 1i and z plus 4 minus 1i because this expression is a and this is b. Okay, so then this whole answer p of z is therefore equal to z minus 1 z plus 4 plus i and z plus 4 minus i. Okay, I hope you guys have understood what I'm trying to do. Uh, thanks for